Okay guys, today we are going to shoot some 3D shooting. But uh, before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about the bow I'm shooting. And uh, the bow I'm shooting today is the Blacktail Sitka Recurve. And uh, I believe I had this bow since 2015 or something. And uh, this is the this is the short version, uh, 56 inches AMO, and uh, it's only 41 pounds at uh, 27 inches, which are my draw length. And as you can see here, we have this. It's a nice one with the with the dark uh, cocobolo and uh, the zebra wood and these accent stripes. And uh, the limbs is zebra wood as well with a bamboo core. Okay. And I have this nice custom handle. It also have these limp bolts. I think they are made out of epoxy or something though. But uh, they are cool nonetheless. <laughs> the arrows are, are the gold tip ultra light. 500s with the standard insert and uh, 250 grain tip. So I have plenty of FOC here. They weigh about 475 grain or something, which are perfect for the, for the 41 pounds. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, on this this first one we have. We have a fox down here and, uh, and an ibex. Not bad. So let's let's move on to the next one. Okay, on this one we have a better doe and a duck. Not bad. What happens with the dog? Oh, a little bit to the left. But it's a small target. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. If we are afraid of not hitting the target. We are developing target panic and uh, those who know me knows that when I'm drawing back and expanding and expanding and expanding until the feather is touching my nose then I release. Uh, that's actually to prevent the target panic but we, we all have target panic and uh, we cannot make it go away. We have to work for it all the time. On this one we have a, we have a, a bobcat and yet another Dog, I hate the small ones. Not too bad. The duck was on the money. Okay. So 
So let's continue to the next one. When I'm using the, the feather to nose technique, I'm pulling back like this to my anchor point. And then I'm expanding, expanding, expanding until the feather is when it just touches my nose, I'm gonna let go. So I can I can release the arrow without knowing when the arrow is gonna go or when the shot is gonna go. So it helps to uh, to fight the target panic. Okay. On this one we have a turkey and a fox. And a dog now. Come. Yeah. It was a good shot. See what happens with the fox. Oh, it was a little too high. But uh, I am not the world champion. Okay. On this post. We can shoot a red stack and a bobcat. So let's try that out. Not bad. I don't know if you can see the bobcat, but uh, we're going to zoom in on the red stack in a moment. Not bad. Okay. I don't know if you can see that one. There's a twig in the way I can see. On this one we have a beaver and uh, further out we have one of these black ones uh, lives in the in the mountains in France I think uh, Chamois or something. The beaver was close. Not bad. On this one we have a pheasant. Some would claim that I should be a specialist. But, uh, let's see about that. Not bad. Okay, and this last one here we have we have a fellow deer and a bear in the background and uh, the fellow deer is about 25 26 meters out or something and uh, maybe 27 okay but uh, the bear is around 35 i think i, I actually don't know but uh, when i'm shooting at distance uh, distances uh, this far i'm using the tip of my arrow as the as a sight 
So uh, I know the point on distance is uh, is around 27 or something with this setup, or 28. Uh, and uh, so then then I'm putting the tip of my arrow uh, on the target someplace where I'm assuming the arrow is going to raise to or fall into. Okay. I hope you understand the meaning here. On the bear, I actually don't know where to hold the arrow, but uh, I'm thinking about putting it on the on the head of the bear, okay, uh, and hopefully it, it's gonna fall into the target right here, okay. But uh, let's shoot the fellow first, and uh, then we can see what happened with the bear. Not bad for the fellow deer. So let's see what happens with the bear now. I'm gonna aim directly at the at the forehead now. He's dead. So the fellow was not so bad, and uh, if we are looking closely, we can see, we can probably see the, the yellow arrow on the bear too. Okay. Some of you guys have been asking me to, to uh, make some more 3D videos, so that's what I did today, and uh, and I hope you can use some of the tip I was giving uh, along the way. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I will see you next time. Bye.